Hi, I'm Alyssa, your Free Range Psychic, and it is the first day of August 2021. Wow, <laughs> it's a beautiful day here in Michigan, uh, southeastern Michigan. It's cool, it's in the 70s, it's sunny, beautiful. Today I'm going to do more breaking news. <laughs> I decided I wanted to um, ask about Trump's taxes and my guides wanted me to do that also. It was a agreement. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> going to be released. There was some talk on MSNBC about him possibly uh, bringing some kind of injunction or challenging, but the news um, so far is looking at that possibility. So I wanted to ask, you know, is it really going to happen? We've been waiting for it for so long. Well, the first card I got, the devil. Okay, this is the Sarah Marchetti Gilded Tarot. I like to tell people what decks I'm using because, you know, I, I like to know if I'm watching another psychic or tarot reader and or. <laughs> this is Trump, the orange one, hunkering down in Mar-a-Lago, and getting more and more intransigent. If you could get any more, this is not a person who's going to back down. He's still the narcissist, the malignant narcissist in all his dark energy. You could just kind of like imagine the smell of sulfur around him here. The tower. This is my guide say Trump still focused on a coup. Still wanting all those recounts. He's just not backing off. I don't think he can think of anything else because any other direction means that he's in a lot of trouble. The only way he can think of of saving his butt is by taking power again by any means. So he doesn't have to deal with the court cases and the possible prison time and whatever else. And as he's in this mode, this is Mar-a-Lago and his business, his brand, just disintegrating and everything he touched right d d d dies the person in texas is it that he backed in the special election loses the election but this is this is the only direction that he knows how to or, or that he's he's focused on which is really down <laughs> just continuing his fall and the end result is justice and this is the Congress looking at his taxes. And this is just generally Trump having to deal with his crimes. This reading continues because my guide said something about new charges coming. Ace of Pentacles. And I asked, well, what is this related to? And they said the Ten of Pentacles. You could say reversed here, but this is his taxes. There's new charges. There's new problems here things that they're going to find out that are going to lead to more uh, criminal charges, I believe. The end result is 10 of swords here. And this is no way out. There's no way out for this man. He's paying for his karma. He's, he's going to have to deal with what he's done. There's no way out for him. And, and it's devastating. And we're looking out, and I always think of the deer as like the American public kind of going, oh, <laughs> look at all of those swords. The next part of this reading was simply about the uh, GOP or the GQP, whatever you want to call them, who were involved in the insurrection, allegedly. Well, we know they were involved in and are still uh, involved in promoting the big lie. These are people like Jim Jordan, Margie Taylor Greene. Goatsart, Gomert, Bobert, Gates, <laughs> the, 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 the lot of them, is it Marshall Blackburn, and so forth. So my guides uh, gave me the card of the Five of Swords. So this is, and we're seeing this, this is the, uh, I want to say the, <laughs> 
I don't want to say the, 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 the Motley crew. That was what was coming to my mind. And they're becoming more and more aggressive, like Laura Ingram attacking the Capitol Police and Marsha, uh, sorry, Marjorie Taylor Greene and <laughs> Matt Gates. Did you see those guys going into the prison where the uh, they ca they're calling them the detainees? <laughs> The fallen heroes are being kept, the, the, the people who are arrested for invading the Capitol. And they're outrageously trying to, you know, make it some kind of human rights movement. But I think it's, it's such a, an, a mis I, I want to say a mistake and a foolish endeavor because the more that they, they do this, the more they're just basically outrightly saying, yeah, we were part of the coup. And these are our guys <laughs> and it just seems so crazy to me so counterintuitive if if you wanted to back away from that because there's so much trouble from that it's illegal it's treason you could be any of those guys with gop could wind up in prison hopefully will if uh they did what we think they did which was be part of this insurrection but they're playing to their base here you know, fighting the, the fight, fighting the good fight for the, the poor victims, the martyrs who are now stuck in prison for being tourists in the capital that day with their guns and, and their bombs and the, their attacks on the police and so forth. The next card that came for them, five of wands. So this is infighting. We may not be seeing this, but there's a lot of vying for power and confusion too about what to do that more and more i think trump becomes more delusional and more uh you know psychotic and the leadership they're trying to make it look solid but it isn't things are falling apart inside there's deterioration inside and fear a lot of fear so you know like the rats jumping the ship or turning amongst themselves really and the result of that <laughs> again the um car the card that comes up is justice did i bring up that card before because that was the part of the trump reading too i hope i did justice yes justice is coming for them they have to face the consequences of what they did and it, it, it it's it's all on the, the beginning of the investigation we saw that with the capitol police and then there there are more people being bought up uh, deposed etc well it's 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 going to become more and more and more it's going to take time to really figure out what all happened and who was involved but here it is and it's shining on the GQP. <laughs> the next reading is on the the people who are actually were were the base involved in the the coup because we'll. I'm not saying the GQP weren't. They were. I'm sure some were undercover there, or at least you know they were. They were on it. They probably they directed it. They. I think allegedly <laughs> gave those chores. So what's going to happen with the people who we're already seeing some of this results. So people who are actually been arrested, like the, the guy with the horns, the shaman, uh, the person who had his feet up on Pelosi's desk. And also my guides are actually telling me to remember to talk about Flynn and you know the Stone Roger Stone and those guys who are also involved what's what's going to happen to them so wheel of fortune and my guide said the wheels of fortune are turning and the, this is really representing the wheels of justice coming in Oh, not that card, sorry. It's the Eight of Swords. These are the prisoners. And it's not just the people who are actually detained. People 
or detained, I'm not going to say imprisoned, <laughs> not detained, um, who, who are waiting trial. And uh, the people who are still yet to be caught. What are we going to see? Again, justice comes up. Justice will be done, maybe not as much in some circumstances that we'd like to see as in others, meaning, you know, some of those people who were involved in the coup, some of the base maybe getting getting off for less than we think they should, but I think it's going to ramp up. I think the charges are going to get more and more severe. I think the consequences are going to, we're going to see extremely heavy consequences. So that is my more breaking news uh, reading for today. I will ask my guides with a pendulum right now if there's anything else they want me to talk about. Oh no, <laughs> they say that was pretty much it. So we do have a card for today from my favorite right now, Sacred Destiny Oracle Deck by Denise Lynn. And this card is trust. The sacred landscape wants you to know this is a powerful and important card to receive. So even when things seem parched or not fruitful in your life, remember that a deeper energy speaks of the power of your inner knowing. Meditate. Trust those nudges from the universe. Your celestial advisors are close to you now. You are open to receiving some of the most important messages of your life through your intuition. Your intuition is spot on, so trust it. And even if there are some areas of your life that may seem lackluster to you now, know that other areas are being fertilized for a resplendent future. Have faith and know that there is a higher purpose. Trust. At this point in the video, I want to remind you I'm available for personal readings. My information is in the description box below or at the end of the musical interlude, which is coming up. I do past life readings, anything in the present, including past and present, past and future in the present. I love to introduce you to your guardian angels and I am a medium. Please take care. I love you. And I will be back. Bye-bye. <laughs>